What's going on everybody? Hope you had a good Thanksgiving, ate a lot of really good food. Today's report is brought to you by our friends at Facilokia of Cape Coral, and today we're gonna to be talking about an old scam making its way around Collier County, what Hall of Fame football coach is recovering in a Naples hospital, and what the new Republican House Speaker plans to do for Florida healthcare. Thank you for stopping by. Today is Monday, November 26th. I'm Jared Brady, and this is your Naples Herald Daily Report. Okay, it's not a new scam, but it's back once again in Collier County. A scammer is calling residents while posing as a deputy and claiming that the person they called missed jury duty and is subject to thousands in fines, but don't fall for it. According to the CCSO, the caller is using names that sound as though they are someone from the sheriff's office, but are clearly not. This scam has been around for years and under many different variations. For example, a similar scam runs through callers around tax time claiming to be from the IRS, claiming you owe money in taxes and other fines. Other variations include posing as banks and utility companies. But as far as this case goes, the Collier County Sheriff's Office says that if you miss jury duty, you will not be contacted by phone, nor are you threatened with fines or an arrest. That's not to say you should skip a legitimate jury summons, but summons come in the mail, not through a phone call. But the Collier County Sheriff's Office recommends that if you receive such a call, immediately hang up the phone and don't give the caller any personal information. Then report the call to the Federal Trade Commission at www.ftc.gov. So again, don't fall for it, it's just a scam. Former Chicago Bears coach Mike Ditka is recovering in a Naples hospital after suffering a mild heart attack, according to multiple media reports and confirmed by the coach's agent. According to a WGN report, Ditka became ill while playing golf on Wednesday in Naples and is recovering and is expected to be released from the hospital in three or four days. Ditka's agent, Steve Mandel, told ESPN on Saturday that the former coach had a pacemaker installed, saying that, quote, Coach Ditka had a mild heart attack earlier this week, doctors inserted the pacemaker, and he is doing much better, end quote. Jarrett Payton, son of Hall of Fame running back Walter Payton, who played under Ditka, said that Ditka is doing well in a tweet that he sent out Friday night. So that's some good news for all you Bears fans out there. New Republican House Speaker Jose Oliva wants to expand access to healthcare by expanding the scope of practice for Florida nurses. He also wants less re government regulation in Florida's healthcare delivery system and more free market principles. Oliva, however, denies that reconfiguring the state's healthcare delivery system will be his personal priority as House Speaker over the next two years. There are already indications that Oliva's proposals may be in for some trouble in the Florida Senate where President Bill Galvano, a Republican from Bradenton, is more reserved about the need for changes. For instance, Oliva told reporters that he wants to allow nurses, quote, to practice to the extent of their training, end quote. But during a recent media availability, Galvano said he wants to, quote, make sure we are listening to our doctors in terms of what they see in the system, end quote. Organized medical associations have killed efforts in the past to expand the scope of practice for non-physicians, successfully arguing that only highly trained medical professionals are capable of safely providing the care that's needed for patients. But arguments aside, Galvano, like Oliva, said he wants to review the delivery system and, quote, see if we can make better opportunities from a cost perspective, end quote. That does it for us here today. If you want any more information about what's happening in your local area, head on over to our website at naplesherald.com, check us out on social media, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Again, thank you for stopping by. I'm Jared Brady, and that was your Naples Herald Daily Report.